Well, hey everybody, welcome to another Not Thursday in New Hampshire. Kind of dark and gloomy, huh? Yeah, well, it's one of those days I'm out on a walk. I've already been going at it for a while because I just, I'm trying to warm up. I'm in a t-shirt and I know I will warm up. Anyways, we're in a rail bed. It's been a while since we have done one of these and I'm going again further as I try to do each time I hit the rail bed than I've gone before. I have been down this end. I have brought you guys along and at one point we dug up a railroad block. We found a small dump way up there off the side. So essentially what I've had to do is park down at that road there's no parking at the next road, so I've just got to walk all the way from this one all the way to that one before I can even start to get to the point where I've not been before. So let's head in a bit more and we'll talk about what we're looking for. So as usual, we will be looking for signs of the past. Old stone walls. Anything from the railroad. Like I said before, I think it was two summers ago we found the old dump off the side. But what I like to do when I walk down the old rail beds is you gotta figure, they put these in mid-1800s. Mid well, there were farms here for a hundred years before that. So every now and then when we're walking down where the tracks were, we see where they just cut right through farms. You never know what you're gonna find, and that's why it's intriguing. And in all the years of being here, I've never been way down there. Like, see this, for instance, over the side of the rail bed here? That right there is a wall that corners off and goes that way. That's an old pasture up there that's been flooded out for probably forever. And just kind of cool. And also, somewhere, way down here, was a train wreck, a derailment, that I've seen the picture of postcard. No idea where it happened. I mean, maybe we'll see something obvious, but train derails, I'm sure it left quite a mess. So, alright, I think I got another half a mile or so to go before I hit new ground. Nice, no matter where you go. See the bag? It's a geocache. At least no matter where I go, I always seem to find them. Without GPS, they're just there. Well, that's kind of cool. All right. Let's get back on track. Now, this is interesting. Not too much further down. This granite pillar, which is obviously old, built up with stones. I see these out here. It is not a town nor state marker. Not where I'm at. But I do see these and I have no idea why. But that's definitely been there a long, long time. Interesting. Okay, so as we break on through to new ground, for me, you can see that obviously that's a farm over there to the right. Who knows what to the left. And I have heard that as we get further down uh, this end, the rail bed uh, becomes 
worse, not so great of condition. So that's always kept me curious enough. It's just interesting to be able to look in over at that guy's property, the tail end workings of that farm. There's still stone wall beside us, which is uh, cool. There's just wetlands over there for what you can see. Foliage report. It's almost done. Bear it will be the particular species that hold on to their leaves for a while. Alright, so as I get a further ways down, that's the end of the that farm. It corners off right there. So Again, I'm just out here learning this part of town because I've never been this far out. So, be interesting to see if there's a disconnect, which there is. Uh, I should say a reconnect with anything else down here for an old farm or something. So, we are reaching wall again. Let's see if it reconnects over here. Oh, it does. Goes right into the swamp. So that's interesting. So we're probably walking into the tail end of another farm. That's got layers of railroad on it and flooding out there. Huh. Well, so far, nothing. I don't think I've walked this far in a long time without seeing a stitch of wall. The land's been kind of, I mean, it looks okay, New Hampshire-wise, in there. But I'm not seeing any farm. Wow. It's like the road that never ends. Well, we'll go a bit further. I still got to walk it all back, so that's always a thought. Well, I was waiting to at least see something. And this is something I haven't seen the whole walk along, where they would dig out resources beside the tracks to build it up. I have detected some of these in the past and found things. This is actually the first one I've seen the whole walk. And a barrel band. Yeah, usually where they did these dig outs, you'll find stuff. And this is why they had to do a dig out right there. Crossing this gap. You would think for the amount of resources they would need or have needed to build this. Wow, that goes on forever. They'd have to pull a lot of earth and stone. Well, that's it. I walked for an hour and nothing past the tail end of that farm, the one random wall, 
and then the land just progressively got plain and then flooded. But I'm glad I did it because I've never been here. I can say I've been here. And sometimes it's actually more intriguing in New England to find land that's been, you know, colonized, say, for the last 300 years that you don't see anything done with it. Could have been just been used for timber and whatnot. So I thank you for joining me. I do these videos because I enjoy them. And I know there's plenty of you out there who don't necessarily get out as much as you'd like to or you're able to. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you very soon. Till next time, enjoy your not Thursday.